Time for English, Grade 6, Unit 9, Sets Around the World, by Mr. Mahmoud Amin. Unit 9, page 55, Cities Around the World, Conversation Time. A. Listen and repeat. Point to the speakers, then listen again. Number one. Captain West, we'd like to interview you for our school newspaper. Could we ask you a few questions? Sure. Go ahead. Number two. How many female pilots work for your airline? I think one third of the pilots are female. Number three. Do you ever fly abroad? Yes. I have an overseas flight once a month. Number four. Do you fly the plane by yourself? No. I always have a co-pilot. Number five. Do you like being a pilot? Yes, very much. Number six. Thanks for your time, Captain West. My pleasure. Page 56. Word time. A. Listen and repeat. Number one. Rome. Number two. Taipei. Number three. Tokyo. Number four. London. Number five. Seoul. Number six. New York City. Number seven. Paris. Number eight. Honolulu. Number nine. San Francisco. Number ten. Hong Kong. Nine. Page 57. Focus time. A. Listen and repeat. Number one. January. Number two. February. Number three. March. Number four. April. Number five. May. Number six. June. Number seven. July. Number eight. August. Number nine. September. Number ten. October. Number eleven. November. Number twelve. December. Nine. Page 59. Reading time. A. Listen and read along. Welcome to New York City, the Big Apple. Over 30 million people visit New York City every year. Why? Because it's one of the world's most exciting places. There are 18,000 restaurants, 10,000 shops, and 150 museums. Basketball, opera, theater, jazz, New York City has it all. Visit the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building. Get tickets for a show at a Broadway theater. Have a sandwich at Carnegie Deli. Don't forget to shop at Macy's. It's the world's biggest department store. Walking tours, boat tours, and bus tours are available daily. For information, call us at 1-800-555-2112. We can help you find a hotel room, buy plane tickets, or rent a car. Structure today is about two question words, which are when and how long. I use when to ask about specific time in the past. If I want to make a question, I have to use the next. First, when. 
plus did plus subject plus infinitive and for answer I use subject plus past symbol plus in plus a month or a year for example when did you go to Hong Kong when did you go to Hong Kong he said I went in April I use how long to ask about a period of time in the past how long plus was aware plus subject plus there and for answer subject was aware there for plus any period of time for example how long was she there and the answer is she was there for two days